Okay, I'm so nervous. Okay, okay. Robo Tamina, I'm sure you're wondering why I wanted this one-on-one -on -one meeting with you, but uh, the nature of today's review is is forcing me to have to explain something to you. Oh no! Please, not another birds and the bees talk. Oh uh, no, no. Well, well, I mean, unless you and that that toaster are getting serious. No, you know what? That's not why I'm here. You see, today I want to explain to you how I brought you to life. Here in Lumber Joeville, we have a magic cabinet. A cabinet that when a figure is put inside and that key is turned, the figure comes to life. <laughs> it's kind of like that movie Indian in the Cupboard. I tell you what, that little bear was such a badass. I mean, he was something else. He was small, but mighty and very knowledgeable. I mean, there's that one scene that- Mirror, stay on track. Oh, right, sorry. But no, this magic cabinet is how I brought Comeyer Alexa, Diva Marie, and you, all to life but you were a very interesting case you see when I got you your previous owner had played with you rather roughly you were missing an arm half your face but I knew I could somehow bring life into you if I made some additions I knew I could rebuild you so what I told the others girls we can rebuild her we have the technology we have the capability to make the world's first bionic woman Robotamina will be that woman. Better than she was before. Better, stronger, faster. Uh, isn't that the intro dialogue to the 1973 show, The Six Million Dollar Man? Oh, is that? Is that where I got that? Oh, hey, isn't that that show about Stone Cold Steve Austin? Uh, yeah, sure. Close enough. But I don't know why you're explaining to me about the cabinet. I already knew about its magic powers and how I was brought to life. Okay, great. So you're okay with me reviewing Tamina's new basic figures, right? You understand that you're your own person? I'm missing one. Of course I do. I actually opened up the extra Tamina Chase figure you had and used the cabinet to make Robo Tamina version 2. What? I ordered two Chase versions to keep one MOC! Plus, I told you girls time and time again, under no circumstances, do you ever use the magic cabinet yourselves? Do you remember what happened last time Diva Marie used the magic cabinet? Ooh, so weird. So freaking weird. But anyways, I guess I should meet her if she's going to be a part of Lumber Jillville. Rebel to meet a version 2. You may present yourself. I am Robo Tamina, version 2. I am also here to protect Lumber Joeville. Hey, you know what? I think I'm okay with this. Double the security for Lumber Joeville. I think I can get used to you, Robo Tamina. Thank, Thank you, you Mega Man. Hey, he was talking to me. Why, I, uh, stop, stop copying me. me. Uh... Never mind. y'all welcome to lumber joeville women's wrestling lives here now i am really excited for today's review of wwe basic series 132 tamina now my order just came in from ringsidecollectibles.com and i am super super excited to review these figures because they look awesome and on top of that tamina hasn't had a figure since i think around 2016 so she was long overdue to get an updated figure and i'm so glad to finally have one or two i guess so that being said, let's take a closer look at this figure, starting with the packaging. So as I mentioned before, I really do like this new color scheme and new design that they brought to the packaging, especially as far as the basics go. I think it makes the basics really pop and look good to display MOC. 
So yeah, I've mentioned that quite a bit. I think the overall color scheme here is very classy. I like the red and black design in the background. I like the single blue stripe that goes up that has a series. And here obviously we get that image of Tamina on the front with her name. Moving on to the back, we have that image once again. And then we also have her signature moves, which is a super fly splash and super kick. And then she's classified as a powerhouse. So yeah, I am going to get an extra chase version to keep MOC. I'm thinking about getting an extra regular version too to keep MOC because that's a really good looking figure. So let's take these out and let's give my first impressions. All right, so my first impressions of these figures, I am completely blown away. I have a bold statement that I think I'm going to end up making later in the review, but I do want to take an up-close look and check out the detail up close before I do make that statement I'll get to later. But yeah, these look great. They look like a shrunken down version of Tamina, and obviously that's what you look for when you have wrestling figures. You want the likeness to be right there, and these look uh, amazing, honestly, especially in hand. So that being said, let's take a closer look at these figures, starting with the regular. WWE Basic Series 132 Tamina Regular Version. This attire is from Night 2 of WrestleMania 37, which took place on April 11th, 2021. On this night, the team of Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler would retain their women's tag team titles by defeating the team of Natty and Tamina. Alright, so I can't say enough good about this face scan. I mean, this looks just like Tamina. Even from the angle I'm looking at the figure, which is a little higher than the camera, it looks spot on. I mean, this is a tremendous example of how that TrueFX face scan technology can really do a great job when it's applied on a good sculpt. And here they knocked it out of the park. I mean, I can't say enough good about it, especially when you compare it to the scans or the face sculpts that she had in her previous two figures. We'll go over her first in the line figure later in the review, but that looks nothing like her. So here to have this scan look spot on is amazing. I also like that hairstyle. It's very iconic. It's sculpted very beautifully. And what's really cool about this regular version is the blue that's included in her hair and also this shiny blue uh, ponytail holder I guess you'd call it but yeah I, I love the little attention to detail and the extra detail they went with as far as the color in her hair and yeah it doesn't get much better than the scan folks I mean I'm just going to be real all right so moving on down to the body sculpt and the attire and the first thing I'm going to say is this body sculpt is tremendous I really like that they put the extra effort and attention to detail and gave her her own unique sculpt as far as I know this is the first time that we've seen this upper and lower body sculpt used on a female basic and they knocked it out of the park it looks just like Tamina it really represents her strong powerful uh, physique that she has so she definitely deserves her own sculpt and I'm so glad she got one because they did an excellent job here now looking at the detail in this attire I have to say the metallic blue accents, they rock. They stand out. So the base color of this attire is just a black. And at the top, it's just painted on that sculpt. There's really no sculpting as far as the attire goes around here. But they make up for it as far as attention to detail in the intricate paint applied. So that metallic blue on the front is all over the place with all these different designs and patterns. And on the back, we even have like the cross stitching that we would see, like the lace up. And that's painted very clean, honestly. I know she has a little scuff on her back there, which is probably just mine. But for the most part, with all the intricate detail that they put into the paint application, they did a very clean job with that application. And that upper extremity looks great with that. It's also really cool to see her tattoo on that right arm. I mean, the tattoos look great. I still think Mattel does the best job as far as tattoo details go. It looks real. It really does. She has black wrist tape painted on, and then moving down to the lower extremity here, the lower body. So, like I said, I think these are also brand new, completely unique sculpted uh, legs that we got for Tamina here, and they're awesome. I mean, they're perfect. It really represents those pants that she wears when she wrestles. So, yeah, they did a great job here. They even have a little bit of bagginess to them, just like in real life, so that's cool. And going on with that paint detail, we have that metallic blue with designs on the side, on the front, and on the back. That looks really good. And then what's really cool, if you look close at her shoes or boots, it's hard to tell what they are exactly, but they look like almost like Air Jordans or something, you know, and they look really cool and really represent what she does wear. So yeah, I think from head to toe, we got a completely unique basic figure here and if there's anyone that deserves it it's tamina but yeah the, the the color itself really pops but the unique sculpting the detail i mean I, I i love this figure i've been smiling the whole time reviewing this thing because it's it's just a gorgeous figure so let's move on to that chase and see how that holds up wwe basic series 132 tamina chase version 
This attire is from a historic episode of SmackDown on May 14th, 2021, where the team of Tamina and Natty defeated the team of Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler to become the new Women's Tag Team Champions. Alright, so just like that regular version, they did a tremendous job. I can't stress enough how amazing this face sculpt, the TrueFX face scan, and even that hair sculpt is. They did an awesome, awesome job here. Near perfection. So the biggest difference between this Chase version and the regular version is here with the Chase, we don't have that extra color in the hair, which I really do think adds to the appeal of the figure. Now they are going with accuracy on this one, so I understand, but that color in the regular version really does make it pop and stand out even more. But either way, here, it does look just like her and it looks spot on and something I didn't notice until I looked at this figure is on her head here we have three braids going on the right side three braids going on the left and those are what are painted blue on that regular version so I didn't really say that before because on the regular version it's kind of hard to tell that those are the individualized braid rows that are uh, painted but they are so I think that's super cool. It really makes that regular stand out even more. But yeah, this the scan, the sculpt, I mean, this is just tremendous. So let's take a closer look at that attire. So in my opinion, I think that regular attire, it, it really just pops and jumps out a lot more than this chase attire. So this chase attire is really cool because it does represent such a historic night for Tamina when she won the tag titles. But I feel like it might be too busy. Like there might be too much going on to have it just be applied with paint. So, to explain what I mean, if you go back and look at the basic 111 Nikki Crosses, right, there's a lot of layers and a lot of things going on that they put with paint application only because they don't have a lot of molding or sculpting details on these basics. And here it's kind of that same thing where we have a lot of different things going on and it's all applied with paint and it just looks a little too busy for me. Also, the biggest miss that they had is this green on the top here. That should be metallic, and I think that really would have made this attire pop and stand out. I mean, the metallic blue with that black background and contrast on the regular version is unbelievably toyetic. So here, yeah, I feel like it's just kind of busy, a lot going on. Um, we do have on this figure that we don't on the regular version, we have these little armbands that are painted on, so that's neat. But looking at the top here, we have that green. We have a little design between the chest here. We have a lot of different designs on the front. We have some laces painted on the front. There's green line going around her whole waist. We have these laces going up the back. Moving on down to her legs, we have like a green and red type pattern that we saw in just that solid metallic blue on the other. So that looks really cool, really nice. And we have those unique shoes or boots again. So yeah, I mean, I think this attire is is cool. I think it represents a really cool time, but I would have rather seen this in elite form, to be honest with you, so that they could have done it right and proper. Um, I think that basic stands out so much more because it is a more simplified attire. But yeah, I still think this looks really cool. It just seems like it may be a little too busy. Alright, so I usually don't cover articulation with these women's basic figure reviews because we kind of know what to expect. But since we got new sculpt and mold here, I figured let's kind of see how we compose uh, Tamina here and let's see how it, it goes. So, starting with her head here, she can look down a little bit, look up some. She can look right, she can look left. Her shoulder's on a ball joint, so she has great range of motion there. Her elbow is single jointed, so she can only flex it to about 90 degrees, a little less actually. Her wrist can swivel here. She has a waist swivel. And her hip is a ball joint, but with that new sculpt, it's a little inhibited. So it's okay lifting it in the front, performing a kick here. But when you bring it out to the side, like I feel like I'm going to pop the legs out. It doesn't really go too far here. Moving to her knee, it's single jointed, but it can flex pretty darn good. And then her foot can rotate here but there's no planar or dorsiflexion so the articulation is kind of what you expect on a women's basic the only thing i am going to say is she doesn't stand that well honestly which is fine i can get display stands but i think that high ponytail is a little heavy and tends to bring her back a little bit so the articulation's okay it's kind of just in line with all the other women's basic figures all right, so now I wanted to do a little side-by-side -side comparison now. Keep in mind, I don't have Elite 69 Tamina here because that is Robo Tamina. That's who she is. So I don't have an extra one here to compare. But I do have Basic Series 33, her first in the line basic on the way left. And let me tell you something. That's one of uh, the worst likenesses I've ever seen in Mattel's history with the company, in my opinion. I mean, it's one of those figures that 
If anyone comes in and looks at my collection, I guarantee this is the one that they would point out and say, who is that? Because the attire isn't very iconic. I know she wore it early on in her career, but it's not very iconic for her. And on top of that, this, this face sculpt and scan, it looks nothing like her. It's crazy. It looks like a completely different woman. So yeah, this is not a good figure as far as likeness to Tamina. I've actually had it displayed in my background in Lumberjillville because I just think it's kind of cool. It's got like an American Gladiator type vibe to it, like a strong woman type thing. And I, she looks kind of like a superhero here. So maybe she could become a superhero character in Lumberjillville because this looks nothing like Tamina. So obviously if you're looking to represent Tamina in your collection, I mean, 1,000 million percent go with one of the new ones, y'all. Now which one to go with? We'll talk about that in the scoring, but yeah. If you're a Tamina fan, let's pretend that this figure doesn't even exist because it really doesn't look like Tamina at all. So whoop. But we do have two excellent new basics to represent her. And here's one last look at WWE Basic Series 132, Tamina, regular version and chase version. So now on to the scoring. Now, these figures will be kept in that basic scoring scale, but I have to go back to earlier in the video when I said I have a pretty bold statement that I think I was going to make later in the review. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm ready to make that statement. And that bold statement is that this regular version of Basic 132 Tamina is the best basic I have seen in Lumberjillville since Basic 117 Tony Storm. And that figure to me was near perfection. It actually won the Jilly for Basic of the Year as voted by all of y'all. And I really do think this Tamina is the front runner for Basic of the Year for 2022 because it is that good. So giving scores here, in my opinion... Basic Series 132 Tamina regular version gets a perfect score of a 10 out of 10. This figure is tremendous. It's obviously the best Tamina figure we've gotten, but not only that, it's one of the best basics we've gotten in a long time. From head to toe, this really does represent Tamina. It looks like a shrunken down version of Tamina. It's amazing. It's a gorgeous figure. It really stands out. It pops, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go out and get this figure. And when you do, use code LJV on Ringside Collectibles. But no, in all seriousness, this regular version is just, it's its near perfection. I love it. And I love how simple the attire is. And I think that's why it gets a perfect score. Because going on to the Chase version, I give Basic Series 132 Tamina Chase version a score of a 9 out of 10, which is still a good score. And it's still an amazing figure from head to toe. It's the same as the regular. The only difference is the paint application and the attire. And to me, the attire is just kind of bland. And if it had metallic green in that top, that really would have raised the score for me. But because it was missing that and it had so much going on, it got a lower score than that regular version. So I really do think this regular version of Tamina from Basic 132 is a, a tremendous figure. I think it's amazing. I think anyone out there should go out and get it. Run, don't walk, and order her now from ringsidecollectibles.com because it's that darn good. Thanks for stopping by Lumber Joeville. Women's Wrestling lives here. For a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews, make sure to hit subscribe and become an official resident of LJV today. I actually have Unrivaled Series 9 Thunder Rosa en route to LJV, so look for that review Monday or Tuesday. I'm really excited for that. Also, head on over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use coupon code LJV to save 10% on your next order. Now, with that being said, I'm excited to see y'all very soon and have a great night, y'all.